You know, I forget. What is that one guy scream throughout that whole SpongeBob episode, everyone? Oh, yeah, right. <gasps> nah, kid, I won't be bursting your ear holes today, folks. Besides, I left the yelling over sweets to the thumbnail in case you didn't notice. But with some help from familiar faces, of course, Don't Starve has chocolate now. So I hope that sweet tooth of yours is ready to munch, slurp, and brain freeze its way through all sorts of desserts. From new trees to cookies, let's eat. Well, not quite yet, actually. For you see, one of the highlights of the mod is that it truly tries to integrate itself into the natural flow of the game by not actually flooding the game with itself. In short, we won't be finding and making chocolate immediately. And even still, it actually just wants to be optional, which I find rather enticing at the end of the day. It also has a somewhat unique generation habit when it comes to Reign of Giants worlds, as it will tend to spawn in Cocoa Tree set pieces of seven trees in total. All the while, Don't Starve Shipwrecked will likely see these trees actually generating randomly across multiple islands. Be it in large numbers, sometimes not. In fact, there were a couple worlds I generated that only had one island containing cocoa trees, but don't worry, we will be talking yet another way to get cocoa soon. They will have a distinct map icon, as you can see, and they may even spawn in the water close to islands. So there's that too. But at the end of the day, I'm thinking our best bet for the stuff is in Shipwrecked. And you know, that's kind of fitting, honestly. So yes, let's talk these cocoa trees. What's their deal? Well, think of them as banana trees found in the ruins almost, as that is essentially what they look like and act as. Each cocoa tree offers us one cocoa fruit itself, and each and every cocoa tree will take eight full days to regrow said fruit. That's simple enough. It's also a pretty decent chunk of time too, actually. But again, this mod is not aiming to be, as the kids say, OP. In fact, the mod page even says that the modders themselves made it because they simply liked chocolate and they wanted it in the game. And you know what? What more motivation do you actually need? But how is this non-OP fruit we just picked? Any good? Not really, actually. However, there is a reason or two for that. But beyond their super long spoilage timers, all we will really get from raw cocoa is six hunger, zero sanity, and a whopping zero health. But cooking stuff also won't make things much better, with 8 hunger, 4 sanity, and minus 1 health for Pete's sake. Not great. But again, here's the thing. Cocoa ain't meant to be eaten right off the branches, everyone. Toss 4 cooked cocoa into a crock pot, and don't be fooled by any wet goop nonsense you might see, and your ultimate munchies prize will be yours. It's chocolate time. Chocolate alone offers us 50 hunger, 20 sanity, and minus 3 health per bite. And it too is going to take 4 flippin' ever to spoil, so make note there. And that minus 3 health, you ask? That's just your dentist calling to say, I told you so. Enjoy it though. But while chocolate may be many of your favorite items on the menu, mine takes a different route to my belly. Toss an electric milk into the mix of cooked cocoa, and you will receive the greatest beverage ever known to mankind, chocolate milk. This smooth, delicious cup of pure joy will very briefly offer a rise in temperature if you drink it fast enough. However, it will still restore 40 hunger, 40 sanity, and 20 health of flip and slurp regardless. Basket out of the way, rest of the mod. I got what I came for. No, seriously. One of the only reasons I decided to showcase this very old, very obscure mod was because it had chocolate milk in it, folks. But I don't let that diminish everything else it offers at the end of the day. Like its honey, pumpkin, and cooked cocoa recipe, that is apparently ratatouille in the game's mind. Although I promise you this, it is actually chocolate cookies instead. Chocolate cookies here ain't half bad either. At 50 hunger, 15 sanity, and 10 health restored respectively. So give me a full glass of the good stuff and a plate of these suckers, and I think I'm going to be set for life. Sweet things. But perhaps none more sweet than this. An overly complicated and very cold way to produce wet goop that's actually not wet goop. Instead, it will be chocolatey goop. 
Chocolate ice cream rounds out our time with these new chocolate recipes, everyone. And it will offer us 25 hunger, a whopping 50 sanity, which is actually just standard for most ice cream in this game anyways, and 10 health, a chili spoonful. Plus, chilly it will be, as the dish also cools us down by 40 degrees over time to boot. Enjoy it. But before we wrap up the day, there is one last method of chocolate hoarding to discuss. Cocoa farming. For you see, the mod makes it to where any planted seeds within a farm has a chance to grow into a cocoa fruit, as you can see. And by using a combination of both the very old farming methods and the caged bird mechanics, we can hope to turn all of these fruits into lots and lots of additional cocoa seeds for more fruits. So you want to be your very own Willy Wonka? Well then. Let the cocoa grow, and the chocolate flow. And you know, if things are not entirely working out in your candy factory turned absolutely brutal death trap for all bratty kids around, then remember to change things up around to your liking, of course. You might not have too much control, but hey, it's enough. Enough to make your teeth rot out, that is. But there you have it, everyone. Don't Starve's Chocolate Plus mod by both Hast and Kuloslav there. Short, simple, sweet. Exactly how I like them. And I'm not talking about the video here. And I believe that was the flipping points. They liked chocolate, they wanted chocolate in the game, and they absolutely added it to the game way back in 2014, if you can believe it. The fact that this mod still works is an accomplishment in and of itself. But I also just enjoyed how lightly integrated it remained throughout it too. Thanks to the both of you for your work as always, and I'm sure it will not be the last time we see you guys again. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Insert relevant quote from SpongeBob here once more. And I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.